Visitors to Fort Morris State Historic Site can hear the whispers of the past as they gaze into the panoramic vista of the coastal environment while traversing the well-preserved original earthworks that served as a bastion of liberty and defiance while defending the commercial seaport of Sunbury and the strategic Medway River during the American Revolution and War of 1812. When the Continental Congress convened in 1776, the delegates recognized the importance of a fort to protect their growing seaport from the British. Soon afterwards, a low bluff on the Medway River at Sunbury was fortified and garrisoned by 200 patriots. When the British demanded the fort surrender on November 25, 1778, the defiant Colonel John McIntosh replied, Come and take it! The British refused and withdrew back to Florida. Forty-five days later, they returned with a superior force, and on January 9, 1779, Fort Morris fell after a short but heavy bombardment. Fort Morris was established officially in the year 1776 to guard the very important colonial seaport town known as Sunbury. Sunbury is a very important economic engine for what was then called St. John's Parish. Um, so important that the Continental Congress decided to authorize a fortress being built here, uh, made of earth and the barracks that held the 200 or so troops that were stationed here up until the fort's capture in 1779. But uh, this is an earthen fort overlooking the Medway River and the uh, Atlantic Ocean is just eight miles to the east of us out in the distance. So this is a great vantage point to protect the seaport town of Sunbury, which was situated immediately to the north of the fort while we're, while we're right here. Um, our claim to fame here at Fort Morris, of course, is the saying, come and take it, which originates from the Greek words, molon lave. And that was uh, originally written for the second time after the Greeks used it um, by Colonel John McIntosh to tell the British to back away and, and not actually approach the fort in November 25 of 1778. Uh, Colonel Fuser of, of the British 60th Regiment of Foot had demanded the fortress's surrender and Colonel McIntosh wrote back to him to paraphrase he said we sir are fighting the battle of America and therefore disdain to remain neuter until its fate is determined. As to surrendering the fort received this laconic reply come and take it he wrote and um, the bluff you could say the bluff worked for about six weeks time the British did return in January with more troops, bigger guns, um, and after an artillery bombardment where there were only a few casualties actually on each side, it wasn't a, a big bloody battle, thank goodness, but the fort was bombarded into surrender January 9th of 1779 when the gunpowder magazine was threatened by um, a fire started from the British artillery pieces, the siege artillery, the howitzers and mortars that bombarded the fort. Under the name of Fort Defiance, this bulwark was once again used against the British during the War of 1812, and Sunbury's harbor was guarded by armed barges. Today, visitors can stand within the earthwork remains and view scenic St. Catherine's Sound. A museum and film describe the colonial port of Sunbury and the site's history. In addition to its rich cultural history, Fort Morris also offers visitors an opportunity to enjoy some of coastal Georgia's natural resources. Numerous species of wildlife, including deer, raccoon, and rabbits can be spotted along the nature trail. Additionally, Fort Morris is a prime location for birding. Wading birds such as egrets, wood storks, and herons are commonly seen. The site is also a prime location to spot Georgia's most colorful bird, the painted bunting. These beautiful little birds are most often spotted during the spring and summer. Those looking for an outdoor adventure can stay overnight at the primitive campsite. Overlooking the marsh in St. Catherine's Sound, this campsite offers possibly the most scenic view of any campsite along the coast. Those looking for fishing or paddling opportunities can make use of the nearby boat ramp and fishing pier. For more information about camping opportunities or upcoming events, please contact Fort Morris Historic Site at 912-884-5999. Information is also posted on the website at georgiastateparks.org.